In previous video we understood Spring Boot Auto Configuration. In this video we are going to talk about Spring Boot Application Execution Process. Well, in one of the previous video we have created Spring Boot Demo Application, right? And this Spring Boot Demo Application has a class that is Spring Boot Demo Application class. So this class is called as Start class, okay? Or entry point of our spring boot application well this class is basically you know contains a main method and main method internally contains a run method so look at here run method is a static method spring application is a class it has a static method called a run and here we are using class name to call a static method so usually we will use class name to call a static method right we don't use object to call static method well so so far we have you know created a spring boot application using spring initializer and we have imported in spring tools root id and we we have used this spring starter class to run our spring boot application and this class internal contains main method and main method internally called a run method so far we have understood up to this right now it's important to understand how run method internally bootstrap the spring boot application i mean how you know run method internally process all the things to you know run this spring boot application okay let's understand the step by step how run method internally bootstrap our spring boot application this diagram shows spring boot application execution process well we have a main method right so inside a start class that is spring boot main entry point class we have a main method so this main method is same as like the normal java program we use right and we define a main method to run the java program and main method uh, i mean the execution of the program java program starts from the main method right similarly in spring boot application the execution of the spring boot application starts from the main method and it internally called a run method and all the logic have been written in a run method to bootstrap spring boot application so bootstrap in the sense run method will load all the you know auto configuration classes and run method is responsible to you know we execute all the auto configuration classes and it, it, it create the spring ioc container and it return the spring ioc container that we will see step by step okay so look at here the steps spring boot application execution start with start from the main method and the main method internally call spring application dot run method okay main method internally called spring dot run method and then and spring application dot run method performs a bootstrapping for our spring boot application so this is a very important the run method internally you know load all the auto configuration classes and it, it creates the spring uh, ioc container it will trigger the listeners trigger the runners etc okay bootstrapping means it will load all the necessary configuration and components required to run our spring boot application and next step is it will start stopwatch to identify time taken to bootstrap the spring boot application so we need a timer to calculate the time taken by our spring boot application uh, for bootstrapping right so that you know that is done by stopwatch class and then it will prefer environment to run our Spring Boot application. The environment can be a production environment, dev environment, test environment, QA, UAT environment, etc. Okay. If you if you configure any environment in application dot properties file, then run method will prefer environment for that. And next, it will print the banner. For example, if you run the Spring Boot application, let me quickly run the Spring Boot application. So look at here this is nothing but your banner okay so once it will start the stopwatch then it will prefer the environment and then it will print the banner okay this banner you can customize the banner or you can disable the banner mode and then it will start the ioc container so if you don't use spring boot then we have to manually start the application context or spring ioc container right but spring boot will take care of 
starting you know spring ioc container or application context all right so in spring boot we can see three types of projects a default project web servlet project and reactive project this this we will talk in in upcoming videos just you know take a note like run method internally start ioc container based on the class path okay and refresh context so once it will start the ioc container then it will refresh all the context and it will load uh, all the necessary uh, components and then it will trigger the runners for example in spring boot we have two kinds of runner application runner and command line runner so these runner we basically use to execute our logic uh, only once during our application startup so just remember these runners and we use these runners in our you know application spring boot application in this course to execute our logic like if you want to save some records in a database then we can use command line runner to you know run our database related logic only once during application startup okay we'll use command line runner in our upcoming videos and then run method will basically return application context object application context is nothing but our spring ioc container so these are the important step okay so these are the important 10 steps involved in spring boot application execution process all right so we understood theoretically right what are the steps involved in spring boot application execution process but in next video we are going to deep dive into the run method and we will understand all these steps by looking into the source code of run method all right great i will see you in the next video